one. Okay. Good. So I walk everything first. The pop that I do from Star to Burr is going to be turning this way. So I'll help guide my flyer a bit. I guide over, bring it down, and then this hip needs to come down here. When your fly is first flying this, this is one of the most awkward things to fly. You're like, which way is my hip coming down? Mm -hmm. What helped you when you first flew this? Do you remember? Um, for me, it wasn't actually the hip coming down. It was uh -huh. which way to turn. Yeah. Because it feels counterintuitive to turn the way that they're trying to get you to turn. Ah. Um, but feels like once you get that momentum, yeah. then one's going to come down anyway. You know, okay. Like this is always higher and yeah. then this comes low. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I'm just feeling the momentum of the turn. Oh, cool. You have an audience. <laughs> so, Thank one you. thing you can do like Ami did is actually use your hips. Just turn your hips as they're piked, right? Okay. So you know which way you're turning. Right. So that's one thing a flyer can do. Again, with this pop, you don't want to go straight up and straight down in your head, right? So that's why we're walking it through first, turning her up and hip. It's about getting the second hip down yeah. and the bird. And when I catch, um, I have her keep her legs straddled wide still. So when I catch, I'll catch like this is an easier catch yeah. than this. This is going to be a slip a lot. But if you do a nice wide diagonal, you have more chances to catch with their hips than catch. And then you can bring it back in afterwards, OK? Uh, fall for this, like, of course, dropping your head, you don't want to do that. So be really clear about where you're going and then to practice rotating the hips for the flyer to get, to get clear about getting back into bird, okay? So what's a tip to help Zach understand which way to turn his hips? Um, From like body part to body part, what's one way to do that? From body part to body part. So like, let's have your foot. Like what it feels like? Mm -hmm. What does it feel like to you to turn your foot? Um, what, what is that? Where is that foot aiming, or your knee, or whatever? It's gonna. S how about that foot to this hand? That foot to this hand, yeah. Yeah, how about that? Okay. To the elbow, maybe. So, 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 so take that this foot. Down. Okay. So left foot to right hand. Yeah, so you can tap say left foot here. So that foot to this hand, okay. there. So that what that does is it helps turn your body over, and then it drops that hip down. And a common thing is when you were catching here, this arm will collapse and you fall this way. You have to really push off the opposite hand that this foot is on. Mm -hmm. So you got to push up here to bring him back up. The other thing is, can I go back to start? Yes. So when I first started doing this, my tendency was to like drop or uh -huh. like raise this leg, leg? Up uh -huh. instead of yeah. being level. Yeah, I did too. Uh, cool. So Keep it, making sure that you're the paying, both paying attention to this as well. Yeah, that other leg. Keeping the pike in. Yeah. yeah. So you're keeping the same shape, the same pike yes. instead of that. Correct. <laughs> so both legs are piked, right? Yeah. So you pike turn, and then down, and then pushing up the opposite arm. Okay. Okay, let's try this pop. Almost in. Up. Through. So same motion, and she's going to end up keeping the straddle, and I'll try to catch my feet on her hips, OK? So I say one, two, down, turn, right? Yeah. One, two, down, turn. <laughs> <laughs> so if you'll keep that leg a little wider, it'll make it a little easier for me to catch. Okay. There, and my arm's pushing. And my feet touched a little bit, which is OK. Um, if you'll keep your core tight and think about Engaging, it'll keep, it'll keep your legs up, it looks a little nicer. Okay. And if me as the base, if I can aim a little lower, because if you aim right on her hips, her legs will just go, yeah. just like when you pop the reverse bird, if you aim a little slightly lower, it'll help your flyer hold a core a little easier. Okay, so one more time. Dangerous areas. <laughs> oh, this is totally different for Zach. Heel, heel different. Heel hit me exactly where it would have made <laughs> Oh, different. <laughs> Good point. Great point. Yes. So this one, Zach, I have a cup if you need. Okay. Do you really? <laughs> when I used to fly a lot, I wore a cup. Really? Yeah. Okay. One, two, pop. All right? One, two, turns. Yeah. So I, uh, maybe you guys could say, and turn. Yeah. Something that signifies what your fly can do, okay? And legs, nice, open straddle. Mm -hmm. One, two, down. Absorbing in it and then catch. So it's that last 
It's that last finale pop that creates a big, big splash. All right, then I